Hey everyone, but I'm here again, and today we are celebrating. Yes, Monday, so probably yesterday when this video will be uploaded, was the day that the new ban list finally became official, and that ban list brought back to three miscell miscellaneous saurus. And uh, I am pretty excited. I was a big dino player when it uh, when the structure deck came out. Whether it be the original one or the more recent one, I was still a big fan. So, I decided why not celebrate by opening these two tins. Today's video will be a Volzar Dolka, uh, because it is a very good card for dinosaur decks, obviously. Um, and, uh, well, it has a few packs, it has some promos, so uh, that's pretty fun, pretty interesting. We'll be opening this pretty soon. And, in a week or two, we'll be opening the Heroic Champion Excalibur, uh, Excalibur uh, tin, because this one has a Volzar Lagia as a promo. Lagia is the more played out of the, out of the two ones, I believe, but still, we'll be opening Dolka first. Uh, so yeah, I haven't opened these tins ever, because these came out uh, during my Yu-Gi-Oh! break. Uh, I stopped playing the game for... Uh, a few years um, when I was in high school and basically this came out at that time so this is all basically new to me I did get the singles later on whether it be uh, by trades or whether it be by uh, purchase so I was able to play some very very powerful dinosaur deck um, combinations when the um, lithosagum came out when diagram came out uh, <laughs> when uh, Petit Tyrannodon and the uh, ultimate uh, big guy that we have right now came out as well. Uh, so yeah, this is like a blast from the past that I never actually lived. Looks beautiful. I like this. We'll be opening this shortly. And we have quite a few packs. Um, so yeah, this came out during the Exedes era, I believe. So uh, I don't think we'll have any... Uh, pendulum stuff in these packs, but I'm honestly not sure at all. Uh, I do know that the 5D's tins used to have the um, sleeves inside, but this obviously does not. Uh, so yeah, we'll put this right here in the back, hiding the volcanic. And uh, we have two Galactic Overlord and three Photon Shockwave. So um, honestly, I have no clue what we are looking for in these. But uh, we'll be opening a few packs, and then we'll open the promos. So let's get started in this booster pack here, Photon Shockwave. I guess we'll be looking for Ultimate Rares. I think they still printed those back then. And uh, maybe some Ghost Rare, if we're lucky. So that would probably be the only things I'm actually looking for in here. Uh, this is really mostly just for the fun of it. Icy Crevice. I remember this. I remember this. Yeah, okay. Photon Lead or Lead. Photon, lead or lead? Special summon 1, level 4 or lower light monster from your hand in attack position. Nice. Nice, quick play. We have Wind Up Knight as our rare, and we have no foil. Yeah, back then, the foils were not guaranteed. We have Creepy Coney. Uh, flip and flick a thousand damage to your opponent for each face up normal monster you control. Except tokens, ah. Pine Kono and Evil Karma. So this is for the Evolzar slash Evolatile deck, which is very them uh, thematic. Wind Up Knight. I think wind-ups were very meta-relevant while I was gone. Okay, let's open uh, another one of these. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And see what we get. Mirror Mail. Plasma Ball. Laval Dual Slasher again. Poisonous Wounds again. Ooh, we have Gishki Beast. I think Gishkis were very favorite back then. Uh, a lot of people played those, I believe. Pine Kono. Evil Karma again. Stinging Swordsman, oh, little guy, or girl, not sure, probably guy because it's man. And we have Zen Mar March, Zen March, huh, for more wind up. Okay, let's open our promo pack. We have for promos, let's put lead to the side, we have Volzar Dolka, very nice promo right here. This guy looks beautiful as a foil like this, and the effect is 
Uh, well, you need two level 4 dinosaur type monsters to make it, obviously. But the effect is, during either player's turn, when a monster effect activates, you can detach a material from this card and negate the activation, and if you do, destroy the monster. So it's a 2300 beat stick with the uh, option to uh, negate two um, monster effect activations, uh, and it's during either player's turn, so it's a quick effect. That's actually very good. Very good. But it's only monster effects. You don't negate spells, traps... You don't negate summons, so this is not very powerful nowadays, but it's still very nice. We have, for our other promos, Genex Neutron. This was played when I was quite younger. Uh, well, not that quite younger, but still, in 5Ds, I remember Genex's being more relevant than now. We have Scrap Dragon, another 5Ds era card. Very nice promo right here. We have Dark Highlander. Uh, one Fiend type tuner, one or more non Fiend type tuners. Uh... Non-tuner monster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Another player can synchro summon. Okay. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls that is equipped with an equip card. Destroy all equipped cards equipped to the monster. And if you do, inflict 400 for each. Okay. Well, you have, when, you, when we have wind up Zen Mains. Zen Mains. Okay. I think this was also a very good card back then. Huh. Well, these are not bad promos at all. I mean, I'm not sure what was quite meta back then, but Doka was good, and Zen Mains was good, and these two are f last from past. This, I'm not quite sure if it ever saw any relevance, but hey, we have it. That's nice. Let's open a Galactic Overlord, the pink guy. Pink guy, pack. Let's see if we can pull anything here. Erratic Dragon of Nuit. We have Nitwit Outwit. Discard a monster to target a face up monster on the field. Loses attack equal to the discarded monster's original attack. Okay. Butterfly Oak. That was a decent trap. Evoltile Lagosuko? Sucho? Ah, we have an Evoltile. We have Ancient Dragon. Beautiful artwork. Beautiful artwork on this. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponents by a direct attack, you can increase this card's level by 1 and attack by 500. Slow, but okay. Red Edded Oni. Bouncer Guard. Oh yeah, they're right, there was a Bouncer archetype. We have Buten, which is a tuner, nice. And we have Gatmushara. Okay, well then, we haven't been lucky with foils up to now. We have our promos, but that's about it. Hopefully, this pack will be blessed. The last Photon Shockwave of this tin. Oh, so actually we have a good spell right off the bat. We have one day of peace. Each player draws a card, neither player takes damage until the end of the oppon uh, opponent's next turn. Very good card over here. I think this is still worth quite a few bucks. Well, not quite a few, but maybe a, a couple. Senior Silver Ninja. Mirror Mail. Plasma Ball. DD Telepon as a rare. And we have... Ooh, we have an Ultra. Number 10, Illuminite. We have a Foil. Nice. Oh, this is good. Three level four monsters. Uh, once per turn, you can attach a material from this card. Send one card from your hand to the grave and draw one. Well, that's disappointing. That is such a sad effect. I don't know if that was any relevant back then, but le 3 level 4 monsters to have a 2400 attack monster, and all it does is you send an equip, you send one from your hand to the grave and draw one. And it's once per turn. That's kind of disappointing. Anyways, we have a foil. We have a foil. In the same pack as a 1 day of peace. We'll take it. What is this? The chest 1 exceeds material from a monster. Oh, that's disappointing as well. Anyways... We have a foil, and we have one pack left from the tin. Galactic Overlord! Pink guy pack. Let's do this. Shmoop. There we go. Berserk Scales. Mini Guts. Return. Blade Bouncer. Oh, there we have a Bouncer. Evo Diversity. Add one Evoltile and one Evolzar, or Evolzar from your deck to your hand. That's nice. And we have... No foil, but we have the Bouncer to go with Bouncer. We have a Ceiling Ceremony, Light Ray Deadless. Oh, we have a Light Ray, nice. And we have Phantom Bouncer, another Bouncer. Nice. Okay, well, we at least pulled one foil out of five packs. And we pulled some good promos. We pulled a Photon, Lead, Lead, whatever that is. We pulled a One Day of Peace, which is very good. But this is not over quite yet. We still have our challenge pack. We open one Cross Souls pack every video until we pull the main guy on front as a ghost rare. It is not easy, guys. Not easy to do. 
Uh, we need a first edition Ghost Rare, so that's why we are opening booster boxes. And uh, I've already had the unlimited one, not the first one. And no foils. Well then, I guess this concludes today's video. So yeah, do follow uh, the channel for the next opening. Um, well, it's not going to be this. The next opening is going to be a very big amount of packs of Dark Nail Storm, looking for some very good pulls. But then next week, or the week after, we'll be opening this again on a Monday or Tuesday, whichever day this video has been uploaded. So yeah, stay tuned for that if you want to see this, and if you want to see other things on the channel, we'll be opening lots of things. Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever. So yeah, until next time, guys, it's been a pleasure, and Panem out. Yeah.